Balance it! Balance! Alright, there. <laughs> Revenge! <laughs> What's going on you guys? So today we are starting off the morning by heading off to the dentist because Vivian's face has been hurting. Vivian, so what's been going on? My wisdom teeth are coming out. Your wisdom teeth? Yes. So young and all that wisdom, huh? I've been holding it off for a um, year. For how long? A year. A what year? A year. Uh, one year only? Yes. Yeah, right. And what? And what is causing you to go to the dentist today aside from the wisdom? Because I'm getting headaches and I'm getting dizzy from the wisdom. Are you sure that's not the COVID? I'm positive that's not the COVID. COVID because we tested negative for COVID. Mm. Well, we're going to the dentist because Vivian's wisdom has been coming out and it's been it hurt the side of her face hurt and she's been complaining a lot. Like a dentist appointment so that she can get that checked out and figure out what we can do next about it. Are you excited to go to the dentist again so you can show the dentist your teeth? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna show them how it's coming out good. Yes. Yeah. Clementine, you excited too? Yeah, you don't have a dentist appointment, it's only mommy. Dentist. Yeah, dentist. Like me. Yeah, like you. They said mommy's teeth are in the back. All right, so we arrived at the dental office, and Vivian, describe to him what happened. Health insurance issues. She's having dental, health dental insurance. Issues. Dental insurance. Um, her dental insurance is not covering it right now, so she keeps trying to call to find out what's going on. But they keep giving her the runaround. She was literally on hold for an hour while we sat there, waiting. And then at the end, they just hung up on her. So she's back on the phone trying to get a hold of them and figure out what's going on. But unfortunately, we are not going to be able to see the dentist today because the appointment has come and gone. So now she has to get on the phone, get a hold of um, somebody so that they can find out what's going on with her dental insurance, set another appointment to come back. Till then, she's going to be stuck in pain. All right, so after, after we went to Vivian's dental appointment, they completely failed. We got home, we got online with Evan's orientation because we needed to find out what he needs for school, what, what are his classes going to be offering, and the material that he needs. But even though... Um, some of the material that, that are on that list we probably won't end up buying because I bought Evan a uh, window surface which provides all that stuff but we still do we still do need to get a couple of things just because he might need a he might need to get some do some notes just on the fly and not be able to actually type it on his surface so we're at Target trying to find all the stuff that he's going to need where's your list Right here. Okay, so come, let's get what we need. On a different note, it is super hot, super, super hot. It's 102, 103 degrees. Yeah, it's scorching hot outside. So right after we leave here, we're gonna end up going to Vivian's mom's house and jump in the pool because it is way too hot. But we're trying to do this before we go to the pool because I know once we leave the pool, we're gonna be so tired and lazy. We're not gonna wanna do anything else. Highlight it right here. You don't need a lot just because you're gonna be able to do everything on the surface within windows. Okay, put it in the basket. What else do you need? Nope. Right here, look, college grade. We're having a few difficulties finding some, some items or trying to get a hold of the teachers because we bought Evan the window surface with the window office suite. And that offers a long list of things on there that we that he can actually use for school, which is ideal because since we're living in a digital age where they're going to be having classes digitally through zoom it would make sense that he would be able to just type up everything within the programs and then just um email email his homework and all his stuff to the teacher so he'll be, they'll be able to get it and he wouldn't actually need physical paper and pay and pens and um glue and stuff like that just because like I mentioned, there's no point of it. You can't actually hand it in to your teacher. So we've been trying to get a hold of his teachers to find out what we can do and if we actually still need to buy a long list of things. I understand that there's certain classes like math where you have to show your progress or how you did everything, break it down. So he would still need some kind of paper, but it's kind of hard to figure out what to do. Okay, so we just got, we literally in the middle of me talking, making this vlog, 
uh, we got a message from one of his teachers and they basically just confirmed what I said since we're going to be doing everything digital there's no reason why he should have to um, purchase a whole long list of of notebooks and compensation books just because everything's gonna be digital but I think they she said that they made the list in hopes that schools would open so kids would be you know prepared to have everything but since we're not the schools are not going to be opening we are gonna be doing digitally but she did recommend that they get at least some kind of paper for math just like I mentioned because that way they'll be able to break down the equations and show their work to the teacher and not actually use just a computer or a calculator to do it so we're just gonna kind of leave some of these things they also mentioned that they do need PE clothes I'm not exactly sure how PE is going to work because they're going to be sitting at home I don't know if they're gonna just you know have them stand up um, and do some push-ups run in place do jumping jacks and stuff like that I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work but I would rather be prepared and have them get some shorts now um then worry about it later so what kind of shorts are we gonna get evan or actually what kind of shorts are you gonna get i think i'm a medium you would get the little smallest 1970s yeah, style good. shorts see i think those are small evan if they fit good on top of those then you should be fine oh he's stealing Yeah, you're right. Mm, told you, I'm always right. Yeah, okay. We are officially at Grandma's house. You can see they're already having fun. Evan, jump in. Jump right over this little pool and do a cannonball. It's a big pool. It's a big pool. I know. It's a deep Go, Evan. Cannonball. Oh, I can do the cannonball. Let's see. Go Evan, run from over there and then jump and then do a cannonball. Do a that was more like a cartwheel. <laughs> you gotta do it again. You missed it. You missed it. You missed it. Come on, mamas. Sunshine, catch it, catch it. Ah, oh, good job, good throw, good throw. Balance it! Balance! Alright, there. <laughs> Revenge! <laughs> Alright, you swim from right there all the way over here. Good job! Yeah. Well, Good job! <laughs> Guys, so as you can see, they are still in the pool. It's, we've been here for about two and a half hours. Ooh, every time I get out, get dry, and get back in, it's so cold. Ah! You jerk. Stop. Mamas! Emma, you having fun in the pool? Yes. Yeah? Are you having fun with the goggles? Can you see underwater? Yeah. Yeah? No, oh, no, she's coming! Ah! 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 She's coming! 
Go away, Ma. Nice, nice jump, nice jump. Now it's Evan's turn. Let's see Evan. It's a belly flap. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I <laughs> I hit my butt on the floor. 